welcome to another magical and exciting cocktail adventure. I'm Helen and today's cocktail is the pomegranate gin fling. Now I'm going to promise you a real little bit of magic right on screen today. So just hold on for a couple of seconds and we'll get to this magic. We are going to use as ingredients for the pomegranate gin fling today, gin, sugar syrup, fresh lemon juice, and pomegranate juice. Now, we are blessed to have our beautiful, wonderful friend Jackie visiting today, and she's gonna taste the magic of the pomegranate gin fling. And what she has done is she has brought us this amazing, magical gin. It is an ink gin from a distillery in northern New South Wales, Te Algum, the Husk Distillery. And can you see the colour of this gin? It is truly a beautiful dark bluey purple colour. Now before I do go on about this gin, because this is the magical part, if you don't have this gin or you don't feel like going online and purchasing this gin, it's okay. You can use any gin you have at home. That's why I've also got the Bombay Sapphire here on the table. Honestly, I do believe it'll be a beautiful cocktail with, it, with whichever gin you do use. But back to this magic, the ink gin. This magical, magical gin. Now the reason it's magic is it's going to change color when we add a lemon juice or a lime juice, any kind of citrus juice, it's going to change from this glorious dark bluey purple colour into a colour. And I don't know what colour it's going to change to yet, so that is going to be a mystery for us. So let's make this cocktail. Also our food today, I've made some simple nourishing bar snacks. I've made rosemary lamb riblets with a sweet potato chip. So we are going to enjoy that with our cocktail later on this afternoon. So let's make the pomegranate gin fling. Okay, I'm going to use the Boston Shaker today. Of course, the real reason to use this one today is so we can see the magic happen through the glass. I'm going to fill this glass up with our ice. Once again, we want this to be filled with ice. It's still summer here. Our summer is going on far too long, but it is nice and muggy this afternoon. So I'm going to fill it up with ice and make this cocktail really cold. Okay, let's do this. I'm going to put in 600 ml of the ink gin. So two measures, each measure is 30 ml. In that goes. Let's just see the colour as I pour that. Look at that glorious blue-purple colour. I did forget to tell you about this gin though, I must admit. The magic, the reason it is this colour, before we get on to the magic, the reason it is this colour is the, they use the petals from a particular plant called the Curious Clitoria Eternity, otherwise known as the butterfly pea, and I am so glad A, I remembered to tell you about the petals, and B, that I could get those words out of my mouth so we can stop giggling now and we can get on with the magic of this cocktail. So we've got our be beautiful blue ink gin in there. We're going to add the lemon juice, and this is the magic. Let's do it. 30 ml of lemon juice. Da -da -da -da. Big drum roll, smoke and mirrors, in goes the lemon juice. Let's see what colour it changes to. Magic! Let's see, oh my gosh, see how it's turning pink at the bottom there. Can you see how that is turning pink? That's amazing! It's got all that beautiful blue purple colour on the top and this glorious pink down the bottom. Just so happens I'm wearing pink today. What a curious coincidence. I'm so excited. Let's finish making the cocktail. We're going to now add 15 ml of our pomegranate juice. In that goes. Let's see what the colors will do when they all mix together now with this 
really lovely dark red juice. In it goes. Wow, look at that. That is just glorious. And then we're just going to put in 10, I say 10 ml of sugar syrup, and then we're going to shake it up. So 10 ml goes in, sugar syrup. Look at the colors, you're still seeing that purpley blue color at the top there. Now we're going to shake this up. As you know, this is the magical part as well, the shaking. So let's shake it up. And I'm going to say it because I haven't said it for a while. Let's shake it up by the cup. Give it a good shake. Make that cocktail nice and icy cold. Get that froth happening. Infuse those beautiful flavors. Wonderful shake. Now, I'm going to use today a highball glass. I have this beautiful soft yellow gold glass that I purchased many, many years ago in England. And we will fill that up with a real special ice that I've made today. I've made some mint ice. So I've placed some fresh mint leaves in the ice and we're going to place that, give it some texture, some fun, some color in the drink. Just on the nice green against the pinky burgundy color of this cocktail. So the ice goes in like so. I'm going to use a straw because it's a highball and I've got this lovely stainless steel straw. I'm not fond of plastic straws and we're going to pour it in. Okay, I'm going to, just going to shake it a wee bit more, get that foam happening and then we'll pour it in through the sifter, strainer, sifter, whichever word you want to use. Oh my gosh, look at the colour of that. That is a really beautiful colour. Now, I've gone to town with the garnish today. I've got a little bit of magical garnish. I've made this beautiful flower out of lemon slices, mint, and some lovely flowering rosemary, which Jackie bought the rosemary out from her garden, so which was a beautiful touch. So we're gonna place that in as well. Voila. I'm also gonna place a lemon slice into the drink like so and a tiny bit of mint fresh mint at the top there and voila there's our pomegranate gin fling cocktail as you know this is my favorite part of the program the taste test so let's give this magical cocktail a taste mm -mm. <laughs> That is so beautiful. The combination, it's, it's a really delicate flavor. The combination works so beautifully. Mm. That is beautiful. I truly wish you were here tasting this with me today because that is a really beautiful cocktail, especially for summer. Although I must admit, I think I could drink it any time of the year. That is just beautiful. So thank you so very much for watching. I'd love to watch, see your comments. Love to hear about the cocktails you're making at home. I'd love to hear if you've made the pomegranate gin fling and if you like it or if you don't like it, that's okay. So that's it from me. I'm Helen, the cocktail queen from Mount Tambourine. Thank you so very, very much for watching. Cheers. Mwah! Mmm. Delicious, truly delicious. Thank you. Mm.